I get comments like this a lot on my video and I know that they're mostly just trying to troll me, uh, but it brings up a really interesting misconception about the way that CERN works. I think people who make comments like this are imagining some sort of organisation where one part does one thing and another part does another thing and they don't talk to each other and everybody's kept in the dark except for a few very senior people that know everything that's going on. But that's not how it works at CERN. In the collaborations that are analysing data from the Large Hadron Collider, most of the work is done by the junior colleagues, and by this I mean the PhD students and the postdocs. These are the people that are writing the analysis code, that are analysing the data, that are creating the simulations, and they're the first people to look at the results most of the time. And it is hard enough to not have all of these scientists share those results early with scientists working on a different collaboration when we've seen a process that is predicted by the standard model, but it's the first time we've seen it, such as a type of particle being produced in a certain way. And that's because scientists love to discover how things work and to discover new things and to tell everybody about it. It would be impossible if there was something new at CERN for it to not leak out eventually everywhere. People would be writing papers, there would be theory papers. The PhD student that first discovered it would tell their mate down the pub who would then tell their mate playing football and it would be buzzing everywhere and somebody would tweet about it. It would be on the internet. So that is all to say that if something was happening at CERN, people would know about it. It would be out very quickly and it would be on all social media. I would want to tell you if I found something cool, then I want to talk about it. And furthermore, we don't sign NDAs. In fact, people jump between different collaborations all the time. And it is well known that when they move from Atlas to CMS or CMS to LHCB, they're taking their knowledge with them. And so we try to keep things separate between different teams for scientific integrity so that we do our analyses independent. But other than that, there's no secrets. We don't even patent anything. Everything is published online in open access journals for everybody to read about.